guys, in this video, we will be taking a look at the brand new Wave 3 Warbors Xenoceratops, but it is the Pachyrhinosaurus. Now, the packaging on this is much like uh, the rest of the Warbors that we have seen for Wave 1 and Wave 2. We have the volcanic eruption going on in the background. We have Owen and Blue right here in the bottom corner. The correct Jurassic World logo there. And, yeah, first glance, this thing is uh, really cool. I know it's uh, really sought after right now. Uh, Mattel is just keep on uh, knocking these out of the park. So, great job, Mattel. So, we got a nice open image of the Packy right here. Cool little sound. And then here is the barcode right here, guys, if you guys wish to use it for brick seek or whatnot. So here we have the side of the box, and then here we have uh, a Wave 1 Triceratops, and then Wave 1 there, and then a Wave 2 right there. So it shows you where to push the button at right there for uh, head ramming action and sound. And of course it does have the Jurassic World Facts app thing. So. Let's go ahead and get this thing open, guys, and start this review. Alright, so like all the rest of the dinosaurs, mostly in this line, you have to connect the tail. Just push the little pressure in there and it connects. And then here we have it. This thing looks uh, really cool, guys. I am really glad I found this at Target. I found it today while hunting for the... Shh. I found it today while hunting for the New York Comic Con Pops. But I mean, just look at that detail. Now, like I said in my General Veers uh, review video, I am using a new camera. I picked up a new expensive camera to use for my reviews. So, the what I am seeing on the display screen is kind of bad quality but when I upload it it looks a lot better so I hope when I do post it, it does look good I mean the paint apps on here I know a few people on paddock 9 was not a fan of the way it was painted but I sort of like it it's different So yeah, just so this thing would be quiet, let's go ahead and do this. Really cool. So articulation wise, the legs, you can move them. And they do have the inward and outward. Oh, this thing just does not want to be quiet. So here is the code right here on the bottom of the foot, guys, if you wish to use it for the fax app. I mean, we got some cool motion right there in the head. And then we got the nice paint. Really, this thing is really cool. I'm, I'm really glad I picked it up. So let's do a size comparison. So here is the Packy. I know I'm going to call it a Packy because it's going to be long to say Pachyrhinosaurus every time. So let's bring in the Triceratops. So those, there's those two compared together. And then I will bring in the... There we go for that. So let's bring these two out and bring in the Stegosaurus. Decent size. Yeah. Now is it Pachy uh, Rhinosaurus or Pachy Rhinoceros? It's Pachy Rhinosaurus. Okay. And then let's bring in the uh, Walmart exclusive 
Battle Damage Blue, which I think is the best Velociraptor that we have so far, the figure-wise, I mean. And I do have a Owen somewhere. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring in an Owen. Alright, so there we have the size comparison for the Packy and Owen. I mean, really, I, I, I like this. So, guys, if you see this in your store, definitely get it. Uh, they are hitting Walmart and Target right now. So, Mattel, you guys have done it again. Thank you so much for giving these awesome figures to us. It's a lot better than what Hasbro's done. By far. So, in the comments below, guys, tell me what you think about this dinosaur. I hope we have a lot more War of Wars coming out in the future. Hopefully, in 2009. Or, 9. 2000. 2019 so as always thank you guys so much for watching comment below hit that like button and please subscribe